So we got a bit of a bombshell after Wrestle Kingdom 13. In the post-match interview, Kenny Omega let it be known, let it fly out there, that after January 31st, he's not coming back to New Japan Pro Wrestling. And this is not some type of work, apparently, not some type of angle. This is legit. It's a shoot. He gone at the end of the month. Which apparently, reportedly, was a big surprise to New Japan. Apparently they found out about it when the interview was actually going on. Interesting way to conduct business, but fuck it nonetheless. And I know that there's a lot of talk right now about where Kenny Omega is going to go. Is he going to join the elite guys in All Elite Wrestling, or is he going to sell out for the money to go to WWE? And you have to figure both organizations are going to back up the Brinks truck and give him a shit ton of money to come there. And most certainly you know, as soon as there started to come reports of WWE making an offer to Kenny Omega, him being in talks with WWE, that you had the fans taking to their social media devices with their flaming keyboard fans of there, pissing and moaning at Kenny Omega. Talking about, how could you do that? How dare you? New Japan is awesome, WWE sucks. You go there and you're just a lousy, good-for-nothing sellout. How dare you? No, how dare you? How dare you? How fucked up in the world does this have to be that an alleged Kenny Omega hater such as myself now has to come on here and defend Kenny fucking Omega? That's where we've gotten. That's how stupid and squirrely the wrestling world is today. The same fans who show their support for these guys by streaming their pay-per-views for free because that'll put a lot of money in their pocketbooks, right? And are going to sit there and dare get indignant and pissed off at the thought that can you make a money actually sell out and go to the evil empire of Vince and get it into this? Now I understand from a purely fan standpoint. You worry about Omega going to WWE because you think Vince won't know what to do with Kenny Omega. He won't know how to handle Kenny Omega. He won't know how to present Kenny Omega. He won't know how to write for him. He won't know how to book him. And those are very valid, legitimate concerns. If your concern is based around that, you feel like from a career standpoint, from a character standpoint, it's not the best destination for him. That is a conversation to have, a very valid conversation to have, and you're probably absolutely right to do so. But to sit there and call the man a sellout, outside of just markish fandom bullshit, is incredibly selfish. Like, who the fuck are you, knowing goddamn good and well, look, I love the job that I currently have. But if another bank comes and offers me twice as much to do the same shit, guess what I'm doing? I'm fucking gone. You damn right I am. And every single one of you would do the same fucking thing. And if you didn't, you're either a moron or you're lying to yourself. Period. Don't hate on Kenny Omega. Applaud Kenny Omega. Salute Kenny Omega. Or excuse me, if we do it right. Because the man has put himself in a position in today's wrestling climate that he has leverage, a significant amount of leverage. And so much of this world is about leverage. Who has it, who can get it, who can take it, who can keep it. Whoever wins the leverage game typically wins in fucking life, period. It's like when you go to buy a car or a house, you have great credit, guess what you have? Buying power, which equals what? Leverage, which means if you don't like the terms that they offer you, you can go somewhere else. And they know that. Bank A, financing company A, knows that. Can't sit there and hold back points to try and rape you up the ass with interest. Because they know that you're in a competitive environment and they want your business because of the certainty that your great credit provides that they will get their money back and be able to profit and not have to chalk up your loan as a charge-off, as an L, basically. It's all about leverage. And we should applaud Kenny Omega for being in a situation 
where surely he's getting compensated very handsomely by New Japan, but he doesn't want to be there anymore, so he doesn't have to be there anymore, so he's not going to be there anymore. That's awesome! What's wrong with that? And now he puts himself in a situation where he has two companies, one that's just formulating and trying to get off the ground here, that has the backing of a billionaire, so meaning there is disposable income to play with, where they could bring somebody like Kenny Omega into the fold. He could go to them, or he could go to WWE, who has great resources as well, established international multimedia deals, merchandising machine, and all of this, and he can also go there and make a shit ton of money. If that's selling out, then sign him the fuck up. And if not, sign me the fuck up. As far as it goes with Kenny Omega, if you are actually really a fan of his and you actually truly support him, which I wonder if a lot of you do, you just selfishly like him for certain reasons, but as soon as they do something you don't like or that is actually the best for them and you don't agree with it, you're going to piss and moan about it because ultimately we're wrestling guys and that's what we do. But if he ultimately signs with WWE because he felt they gave him the best package in terms of compensation, in terms of royalties, in terms of merchandising and licensing and all of that, international television, uh, social media exposure, then don't get pissed at him for it. Applaud him for it because he's earned that right to exercise that leverage. And who the fuck are you to tell him any differently? And if he ultimately signs with All Elite Wrestling, which I still imagine he ultimately would, and he feels like they give him the best opportunity, he feel like, feels like they give him the best package, maybe it's not just solely about money, but it's about good money with a more friendly work schedule and some other things factored in, more creative control. If that's where he goes, we should not shit on him for that. We should applaud him for that, too. I most certainly will. Whether he goes to All Elite Wrestling or WWE, I will say, Kenny Omega, I applaud you, sir, because you put yourself in a position with your work to be able to get leverage to where you now have two of having to compete for your services. This is not a one-horse race. This is a two-horse race. So they're trying to battle back and forth, and you could use one to go against the other, one to go against the other. That's not shitty or selling out. That's good business. Wherever Kenny Omega goes, he's put himself in the position and earned the right to choose. And if you really are a fan of his and you really support him, then you should be happy with wherever he ends up. And if you're not... And maybe take a look in the mirror and ask yourself just how much of a selfish fuck you really are.